Boys, 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 girls, four words, Slifer, the Sky Dragon. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko, and today I'm really excited because I'm going to be showing off my personal favorite Egyptian God card. Yes, you heard it right. We're going to be showing off Slifer, the Sky Dragon, and how powerful the most powerful God card really is. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting here for way too long, but if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We do product openings, combo videos, deck profiles, all that good stuff. We upload five days a week here on Spanko. I appreciate everyone who's joined recently, and I'm going to appreciate every single one of you who clicked that subscribe button right now. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and with that, let's get into showing you guys how strong Slifer the Sky Dragon really is. You guys are looking at it right here, right now. The Slifer the Sky Dragon God deck. Slifer the Sky Dragon is my favorite of the three God cards. And I was like, you know what? Let's go on Master Duel and hop into some ranked matches to show off how powerful Slifer really is. Now, Slifer actually has one of the craziest effects of all the God cards, and it's pretty much a floodgate. If my opponent normal or special summons a card, it loses 2,000 attack. And if their attack goes to zero, that card gets destroyed. So it has a crazy floodgate effect in combination with the Numeron stuff right over here. We can OTK really, really easily. So we can go first, we can go second. I'm really excited. As you guys can see, this deck is all about drawing cards. You have the Max C, you have the Extravagance, you even have the Memories of Hope, which helps you draw cards. This lets you load up your hand so that Slifer's attack can go over the roof. And then on top of that, you even have stuff like Reckless Greed. We also needed some protection for our Slifer, especially when our hand count gets low. So we are playing Mirror Force in the main deck as well. Guys, I'm super excited for this. Let me show you what Slifer the sky dragon is all about all right we're in our first match over here and are we gonna whoa we actually won so the really cool thing about this deck is it can go first and second really really well but we're gonna go first in hopes of drawing our slifer and being able to summon him right away the numeron stuff makes it so that you can always get slifer out on your side of the field on your first turn so it's insanely powerful all right, let's look at our hand right here. Oh, we have the Slifer and we have the Terraforming. Guys, this hand is nuts. So we're going to start off by activating our Terraforming here. The Memories of Hope is actually what breaks this hand like crazy because we're going to go Terraforming and we're going to hope he doesn't have Ash Blossom. We really need this to resolve. Oh, it's going to resolve. I like this. We're going to go into our Numeron network over here. This is going to let us draw four cards. That's how crazy it is. So we're going to go activate our Numeron network and we're going to activate its effect Guys, I think he has a max C because it keeps chaining to him. So he probably has the max C. However, as long as he doesn't have the Ash, we're in a really good position here. So we're going to send our Numeron Calling and we're actually going to summon four cards from our extra deck here. We could go for three, but I do want to go for four because we have the Memories of Hope in our hand and that's going to add so many cards to our hand. Okay, I don't really care if you max C us. To be honest with you, I could uh, chain the Ash, but I'm only going to be special summoning, I guess, one time because it's just one full summon. So I'm actually going to let the Maxi go. I don't even care about that. I'd rather have the Ash as more disruption on his turn. So I'm going to hold for that. We're going to go one here, two. You're going to be tributing them anyways, but we're going to be summoning four different Numeron monsters. So he's going to get to draw one card here, which whatever, I'll let him draw one card. That doesn't matter. But here we get to activate the memory. So oh, guys, if you guys don't know what this card does, it says draw cards equal to the number of number exceeds monsters you control. We have four. So we're going to get to draw four cards off of this. This is nuts. And it's going to fill up our hand for slide. Oh my guys, this is disgusting. So now we can normal summon tribute summon over here. Our Slifer. The Sky Dragon! Boom! Summoning our first God card, 6k attack. It's fine. He's not going to stay at 6k for now because we are going to set an Imperm. We'll also set the Mirror Force for some protection. And you know what? We're going to set the Call by the Grave. I think keeping him at 3k is a decent position because I'm also going to have the Max C, which could potentially draw cards to my hand. So now we have a 3k Slifer with Mirror Force, Imperm, and Call by the Grave set. We have protection. We have our Slifer, which is a floodgate on its own. We have an Ash and a Max C. Guys, our hand is nuts. This is crazy. I just want to show you guys how powerful Slifer can really be. So here he's going to normal summon. It's only a thousand attack so guess what's gonna happen it's gonna get destroyed guys slifer is such a crazy card here because no matter what he summons okay so here he has to go lightning storm i guess he's gonna call monster he may call oh he did call uh, spells and traps you know what if he's gonna call spells and traps here i don't think the card in the graveyard does anything but we might as well activate it we're obviously not gonna call maxi because we have a maxi in our hand so might as well we're gonna lose our back row doesn't really matter we still have a 3k slifer floodgate on our side of the field right now and so uh yeah this is kind of nuts does not matter if i was him honestly i may have wanted to go for the slifer instead so this is gonna let him summon two tokens okay so here we'll maxi we'll see what we can draw into we're gonna go at least minimum one for one here and then if he wants to continue then i mean of course we're gonna get to draw more cards but here now we have the maxi live we're gonna be able to draw a 
off the max C and we're going to put Cypher's attack back to 3000. So we drew another Ash Blossom. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But if he wants to continue here, he'd have to go into like a Link 2, which is going to draw us more cards. Cypher's attack is going to get bigger. We also have Cypher's effect still because it literally says that if a monster, it's not once per turn, by the way, if a monster is normal or special summon, it's going to lose 2000 attack. And if it goes to zero, it's going to get destroyed. This card's nuts. Like Cypher is literally the most broken God card. I'm honestly not even sure where he's going to go with this. So he gets a special summon his Galaxy Eyes Photon, but it doesn't really matter because now we're still at 4k Cypher. It's only a thousand attack now because of Cypher's effect. He's going to change the turn to us. Okay, this is perfectly fine. So we actually have Mound of the Bound, which is actually really nuts here because Galaxy has a really cool effect where if you attack into it, you can target the monster that's attacking and banish both of these cards, right? However, with Mound of the Bound, level 10 or higher monsters on the field cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So now Mound of the Bound is going to protect our Cypher here. We're going to still have a 4k attack Cypher, and we're going to be able to battle and pretty much bypass the effect here of Galaxy Eyes because it cannot be targeted. Now we're just sitting here in control. And on top of that, Mound of the Bound also just did a thousand damage. So now he's stuck at 4k. I'm going to pass my turn here. I really don't see a way he's going to be able to play around this because Slife of the Sky Dragon itself is just a crazy floodgate. We have Ash Blossom here as well if we need. We have the Mound of the Bound, which is going to protect our Slifer. So now we have the perfect board setup, the perfect positioning, even through the Lightning Storm. This is the perfect positioning. And I don't really see a way he plays around this. Guys, Slifer, oh my, look at this. Sly, it doesn't matter if he normal summons. Slifer is going to activate right away and it's just going to destroy the card. It does not matter. He's only at 4k health. Slifer is about to get to 5k. Oh, I feel like Yugi himself right now. We're going to enter our battle phase here and we're going to attack directly. Slifer, the Sky Dragon, attack! For game! This is crazy. Oh my. I really got to show you guys how good Slifer is. This deck is insane. Slifer is the best god card of the three in my opinion. It's my favorite one and I got to show you how good this card really is. Alright, so I really want to show you guys how good this deck is going first but also going second. So here we're actually going to pick going second. I showed you guys in the first duel how powerful Slifer is as a floodgate monster. But here we're going to go second because I really want to show you how good this deck is just OTKing your opponent super super easily because the Numeron package itself just helps you OTK through pretty much anything. We have our network here and our calling, which is absolutely amazing. This hand going first would be nuts, by the way. And our opponent's gonna scoop it up, but that's what happens when you see a slide for the Sky Dragon. You just gotta scoop it up. All right, hopefully this time our opponent is not gonna quit on us, but we are actually gonna lose the coin flip, but that's perfectly fine because I feel like most people are gonna wanna go first anyways. So, oh, they're letting us go first. Okay, well, that's fine. I think I get to show you guys again how powerful Cypher can be, but I really wanna show you guys how good this deck is in just going second because the numeral package is just so strong. But here, we actually break. Uh, I'll be honest, this hand seems kind of doomed. We set an Imperm and we pass, but if we draw into a network or a terraforming or a numeron wall, we're in a great position. The really cool thing is terraforming is a one of, Numeron wall is a three of, so that's four. Numeron network is a three of, so that's seven. So we have seven total ways right now to get into our package. We're playing against a relinquished deck. That's kind of interesting, but uh, I don't think there's going to be anything very valuable that this deck is going to do right now, especially that we have no monsters funny enough, actually. So this has actually worked out for us funny enough. So I'm not too worried right now, which is very, very nice because when you open a hand like this, you want to make sure you can live a turn. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to live a turn with this. Honestly, he's playing with one card in hand. I don't think this card is going to be very significant. I mean, if we don't draw into one of our seven ways, we draw into Extrav. Oh no, please. I want to draw my OTK button card. Okay, well, we're just going to pass because there's nothing else we could do here. We're going to have to play it slow. Guys, I know this is shameful. But I promise you, when Slifer gets on the board, it's going to be worth it. The really cool thing is us bricking actually makes Relinquish not good. Because the whole point of this card is to break boards and take your opponent's monsters. But us bricking is actually making this not possible for him, which is kind of really funny. Alright, so it's going to turn back to us. We have so many cards in our deck that gets us to it. We got to it. Guys, by our lord and savior slifer the sky dragon we drew the numeron network so here i don't know if this card has anything relevant in its effect so i'm just going to imperm it right away because i don't want to worry about this i was kind of reading it and i was like eh too much to read i'm just going to imperm it see he's going to get to look at our hand i guess i know it has an effect where if it's like banished or whatnot then uh he can equip to relinquish and i don't know if he has any ways to do that so we're just going to go and otk him right now we're just going to imperm this so we don't have to worry about it we're going to activate our numeron network and we're literally going to get to draw four cards right now this is how insane it is so we're going to go activate network i get to show you guys the otk which is really really cool we're going to activate its effect to send the numeron calling we're going to summon four in attack position he has something to chain here i don't know what it is 
Okay, what does this card do? In this card, this card target effect monster your opponent controls, equip the target to an eyes restrict fusion monster or relinquish your control. Okay, so he's gonna get to equip to one of these, I guess. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, doesn't matter. We still have three. As long as we still have three, our cipher is gonna be guaranteed to go through. So it's not a big issue. We're gonna activate our memories of hope now to draw three cards. We would have drawn four, but we get to draw three. Not the end of the world. Ooh, okay, okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna do some pretty big damage. I'm just gonna go into battle phase, and the reason we're gonna go into battle phase is because we're gonna get to trigger off our effects right here which is going to do some pretty big boy damage and we're going to activate this this is going to go get to 2000 we're going to attack 2000 into this and they're all going to actually get to go to 4000 which is really crazy now had i had the fourth one here had that relinquish not taken it we would have been able to otk because it would have been 8000 but it's fine we don't get to otk here but what we do get to do is sure i guess we get to activate the effect and become 8000 not a big issue because we're going to go into our main phase two here we have three monsters on the board still so we are going to summon our Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Now we could go into the C1, but I think like this card is just nuts because now we can actually burn our opponent, but I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to summon Slifer. I want to activate Mound of the Mound Creator. He's at 5k. He's going to be at 4k now after the Reckless Greed, but once we get to resolve this, we're in a huge spot here. So we're going to end our turn. We now have a Floodgate, Slifer the Sky Dragon. And all I really want to do is end this game with Slifer. I know I wanted to show you guys the OTK. He ended up taking the OTK with the Relinquished, funny enough. I don't know, really weird deck, but it worked out for him. However, now we have Slifer the Sky Dragon, which is going to beat our opponent. The really cool thing is even if you go Shard of Greed here, we have the Ash Blossom, which is insanely powerful because he's now not going to get to draw cards. Sure, Slifer's at 3k, but it doesn't matter because our Reckless is going to make him 5k at a minimum, so we are good. Alright, so he's going to go MST here. Does not matter. What is he going to MST? The Mound of the... Yeah, I think he has to go Mound of the Mound, right? Yeah, he has to go Mound of the Mound because otherwise Slifer is just way too strong here. So that's fine. It's not the end of the world. The thing is, Mound of the Bound would activate, but I actually have all three Slifers in our hand already, which is kind of sad. Otherwise, we get to search, I believe. You can add a Divine Monster from your deck to your hand, but uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, please! I wanted to OTK you with Slifer! I would have gone Reckless greed made him 4k or 5k and then just go boom for game guys that's life with the sky dragon we bricked i know but we got to show you guys how powerful this deck is can be and really just the power of Slifer is just so crazy. I love this card and I love that we can play it in Master Duel and actually win a bunch of games. So that is it for today's video. Guys, oh my god, we got to play Slifer, we got to summon him, and we got to win with Slifer. Slifer is my favorite god card, and I'm so excited that I can finally play him in a semi-competitive sense. Slifer is really, really powerful on its own, backed up with some of the Numeron cards, some of the traps that I showed you guys. I love this deck. Make sure to try it out for yourselves. But if you guys did enjoy, Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys want to see any other Master Duel content, let me know in the comment section down below because I don't do too much Master Duel content, but if you guys do enjoy it, then I will do some more Master Duel content. I like playing it on my own time. Or if you guys haven't checked me out on Twitch, I do usually stream Master Duel as well. So if you guys want to do that, link is in the description. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.